All right, everybody. Welcome to my unboxing of Juego de Space Loteria by uh, Chapo Peña. As you know, today is Force Friday, September uh, September 4th. It's like 5:19 right now, and everyone's doing unboxing. I figured, heck, what the heck? I think this would be a good day if I was gonna open this thing up today. So you can see. Very nicely packaged, very simple. A uh, little background, um, Chepo Peña, he is actually plays in the band, but he also is an artist. And uh, he did this like back in 2014 and he presented it to uh, Lucas Arts and Lucas, you know, the licensing to see if he could get the license to make it. And they're like, it's a nice product, but no, I'd rather you guys not produce it or sell it. So he didn't, but you know how our Latinos are. He was like, you know what, this needs to go out. I'm sure people are gonna enjoy it. So he made it a couple of times, very rarely. And actually he was just uh, unfortunately diagnosed with cancer. He's been kind of fighting that in a way to kind of raise money. They came out with a small batch of these uh, at the beginning of this month, last month in August. And I was uh, very lucky enough to get one of these. Um, and I had put on Instagram, that I was not going to open it, um, but being that everyone's opening something, I figured, why not? Um, just one of the things is, so this has 54 cards, just like the normal Juego de Loteria, uh, 10 tablets, and it includes a bag of uh, beans, pinto beans, frijoles. And that was a very nice touch to this. So, um, and just so you know, once I open it, uh, it will be secured, I got the, plastics and top loaders and for the cards too so figured I have a chance to kind of like open it but still kind of take care of it so um, yeah uh, here's the blade um, as you can see I mean the sticker goes all the way around so I'm gonna have to probably cut through uh, El Barril RTD2 over here let's see there we go Cutting through. Actually, this is not the sharpest knife. There it goes. One side. Let's see what I can do with the. Uh, actually, I'm not even gonna try because I'm doing it right over here. All right. It's gonna cut open. Open this up. There it is. First thing, of course, these, I don't think I need to open these, right? You guys kind of figure it out. It is, nice to hold this. Good amount, probably enough for, what, four people? Even more, I guess you don't need that many, right? So, then if you get hungry, you could just put them in a pot, boil them up, and put some tomatoes and onions in them. But we're gonna keep these. Um, here's the deck. Nice little block bag. Let me bring out the bigger card. The bigger cards are not in plastic at all, so these automatically. So there's 10. So let's see here. One. Remember, it's El Diablito over here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the update though very good. So these are the ten cards. Now let's go through the uh, fifty-four cards that came. The quality was pretty good actually with the cards. It's a nice thick cardboard stock. Let's see here are these just fill them off the bat yeah it's a pretty good quality stock too you could tell they were cut so that's not like the perfect machine cut but again that just kind of adds to the whole underground of these uh, of this deck all right so here's a couple of them um, El Gallo, straight up at At Walker. 
El Diablito. That definitely makes sense, right? Let me put these down. La Dama makes sense, right? El Catrín, of course, nobody else but him. El Paraguas, so I guess, you know, you can't really use a, you know, for the, the helmet that works great for that. La Sirena, so like the Little Mermaid over here, pretty cool. Kind of makes it in the same style. La Escalera, this is kind of trippy. Everybody knows how he was going up the X-Wing. So Luke Skywalker going up a ladder kind of makes sense on this one. La Botella. So normally it's the bottle by itself of ketchup. So in this case, they put one of the aliens in there looking at it. One of the cantina ones. Makes sense. Wondering what it is. El Barril, we saw that. So normally it's a barrel, right? In this case, oh, he looks like a barrel RTD too. El Arbol, the tree, kind of cool right there because it's like that's where the and then making like the tree house for what is it the Wookies? It's not for the um, I got it for the uh, Ewoks, right? It's for the Wookies. It looks more like I don't know. You let me know. El melon, so the melon, but so I mean I guess you know sometimes like they call the top of the head in melon. A melon, so it kind of makes sense putting the Luke Skywalker with the dreamscape that he had over in the in the movie. El Valiente, the warrior, the brave guy. Again, that's self-explanatory. El Gorrito, the little hat, makes sense. X-wing helmet. La Muerte, death. Of course, you know Obi Wan Kenobi gets destroyed, but comes back as a ghost spirit. So goes with that. La Pera, the pear, I mean, I guess because it's two, kind of looks like it, it looks it. La Bandera, the flag, right, Imperial, it looks really cool. El Bandolón, that's like a little, like a little guitar, it's a bass guitar, so I guess because it looks like it, because usually that's the stem, you have it with strings, so eh, Slave One works for that. El Violonceo, again, like a violin, this kind of gives it that idea too. So that, I mean, very creative, very creative. La Garza, so this is, you know, like the stork. Normally there's one foot there, but definitely it totally works. The bird, el pájaro, because it looks like a bird. Again, this one's trippy. La mano, the hand, in this case, right? It gets cut off by Luke, works very well. La bota, the boot, right? When it gets separated, see through peel, very cool. La Luna, the Moon, the Death Star, it all goes kind of goes well together. El Cotorro, the Parrot, right? Totally makes sense. <laughs> annoying. They're usually annoying because they're making a lot of noises, so it works with that. El Borracho, the Drunk, right? Of course, kind of looks, looks good. El Negrito, right? You know, our, our brothers, right? But <laughs> in this case, you know, <laughs> you know, one of the black stormtroopers. It, you know, black. Negro in, in English, so it kind of makes sense. El Corazón, normally this is a heart, but of course, you know, has to be them. You know, cause, uh, they're caring for each other, like each other, and it works with that. La Sandia, so that's a, uh, oh, you know, it works with that. El Tambor, the drums, right? Most people won't even know about this unless they know the original version of uh, Return of the Jedi, because when the Ewoks were celebrating at the end, they hit the drums. He was not really that mad, but he kind of made him upset over here. I don't know if he's upset because they ended up changing the ending, not using this as much. El Camarón, he's just a shrimp, right? This little guy, Ewok, I mean Ewok. Yoda works. Las Haras, not really sure how to translate that in English. I know somebody could probably tell me, but it makes it looks like this. It's like two things that are crossing, so two lightsabers. El Musico totally makes sense, part of the band, right? The musician. La Araña, well, you know, because the guess the way he throws out his, uh, his force, the bad stuff right there, but the thing, it kind of works out. So cool. Let's see, there's another one. El Soldado, the soldier, very cool. La Estrella, the star, right? Because he's the star of the movie. Makes sense. El caso, usually it's, it's, so it's a pot, you know, where you would put and cook something, I guess, if you get the old-fashioned, turn it around. 
if you don't know where to use it, then I guess you could use that. That makes sense. El Mundo. So in this one, they had like a strong guy holding the Earth. So you got Dark Vader holding the, the Death Star. Works good. El Apache, usually that's like an Indian. You know, so it, it makes sense. You know, kind of <laughs> give him. He has that those kind of characteristics. So it kind of works with that. El Nopal. It, it's the Nopal that's, you know, so it kind of works with it. It's kind of funny. Right? Usually that the uh, cactus, nopal is the cactus. Green, right, kind of, you're looking. El alacran, so that's usually, so, um, a scorpion. He stings, right, so it makes sense. This is kind of crazy, it's la rosa, so a rose. So definitely not a rose, but you can see, so, you know, you can think Yoda as the green stem and, you know, the imperial, stormtrooper over here, the imperial guard, excuse me, as the rose, because it's red and sideways with the petals, kind of works with that. La Calavera, the skull, you know, he's always just kind of looking kind of pale looking, so it, it works with that too. La Campana, the bell, and it looks to use one of the helmets as that. El Cantarito, this is funny because this is usually the one represented for water, so it's a container of water. In this case, it's blue milk, perfect, it goes with it. El venado, the deer, of course we don't have venado, but I'd say we have one of these. It makes sense, not a lot of animals. This one's pretty cool. El sol, so the sun in this case, we're using both. Usually they have one and it's this one. And it's actually just by itself in this case they have both of them with Luke, right? Tattooing, works real cool. La corona, the crown, of course. It's gonna work with that one, that one works good. La chalupa, it's like a boat. Usually they have like, you know, a lady kind of rowing. It has a lot of flowers around, very decorative, kind of old style. So this kind of gives it that feel, hence it's over the water. I don't know if it's beaters. I guess beaters could go over the water. El pino, makes sense, of the pine. But in this case, the, the uh, brings us to the scenario when the when those beaters hit the tree. When it struck the front of it. El pescador, the fisherman, right? Normally, in this case, there's somebody fishing, but in this case, the fish is actually going. You can see the, one of the uh, ships, Gungans. La Palma, the palm of your hand, and of course, awesome, good way of doing that. La Maceta, so a pot plant, but of course, we're going to have the, uh, the famous plant who uh, swallows up a uh, famous bounty hunter. La arpa, so this is supposed to be a harp. So it's normally a harp, if you see the old style kind of harp. I like the, the idea with this, because see, you see all the bullets, it kind of represents the strings. Works really well. And the last one is la rana, the frog. So that's, uh, again, it all works out really great. Really, it's, uh, it's a mash, mashup between, you know, something famous that um, a lot of us grew up with. You know, you could usually find the regular set of uh, Loteria cards for like, you know, two dollars in every corner. So the fact that uh, that uh, Chepo Peña ended up mixing them together with this, it's uh, very unique and very lucky for me to have it. And I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, opening this up for me. All right, great. Have a good day. Later.